Voice from the Dark here, and welcome to my let's play of Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Screen. Now, this is one of the only games that my PC can run at 30 FPS, so this is gonna be like my, my amnesia. So I played this game before, and I think it's really awesome. It's like, yeah, you have to survive a zombie outbreak. So before we can start a new game, we have to make a profile, or as I like to say, make a character. Um, our character's name. Oh, I should have thought about this beforehand. It's gonna be Carl. So Carl has to survive, and uh, you know what? He's pretty hardcore, that guy, so we're gonna do it on difficult. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be one hell of an adventure. So let's start a new game. Loading the farm. This is the first cutscene. I'll shut up so you can listen. So, you want to know how I got here? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my story. It all started like this. I just finished feeding the hogs when the power went out. And that happens from time to time out here in the country. I tried calling the electric company, but the lines were dead. Dun, dun, dun. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Later that day, I noticed a stranger in my yard. Something wasn't right with him. The way he was just standing there, I went out to see what he wanted. Yes, isn't that a creepy first mission? Find out what the stranger wants. Oh, he's gonna see us. Right? No. <clears throat> oh, um, oh, steady. So, uh, we don't have any weapons yet, we just have our fists, so, um, let's just greet this guy and see what he wants. Hello? Hello. And what do you know? He's an undead. Ah, okay, it says we're gonna get our rifle from the attic. <coughs> so let's hurry. Uh, we should probably close the doors after us. It's a really good idea. Because they use some time getting through. Okay, the rifle. I think it's. This one. Okay, got it. Ah, uh, we have full health. Just want to check the rooms. A lot of health up here. <sighs> Nothing behind there. Oh, shit. So the zombies can take around four rifle shots. And uh, often one revolver shot if you get him in the head. So I really like being a gunslinger with a revolver. Hey. Okay, I only see one so far. Only three more shots on the revolver. No, on the rifle. <laughs> it's Big Mama jumping over the fence. And we're out of ammo. Get our gun from the shed, which is over here. Should probably have our fists out. Door is locked. Get shed key from base. Yeah, that's right. The basement. Of course, we have to go into the basement. We're on the farm in the middle of a cornfield. This is the most creepy place you can be attacked by zombies. Uh, come on. Pretty slow, this guy. Oh, get inside! Get inside! Okay. Okay. A zombie. They're behind. Oh, just get away! They're behind me too. Um, no, no, shed key, great. Oh, good. Okay, okay, okay. L let me in. Good, good, good. What do you have here? A hammer, good. Ammo, revolver. Okay. Who's next? Great. Whoa, one shot, one kill. <sighs> Let's just try and not be ambushed <coughs> by these guys. So the first zombies aren't particularly hard, but they can sneak up on you. Oh 
later in the game. Uh, there are some pretty difficult parts actually. Let's see, it's you. Oh, I c yeah, I can pass through. Ooh, shovel! So now we replace our melee weapon. Ammo. I've never been in here before. But I feel like since, a, since it's a let's play, I should probably explore some more. Get out of my way. Another one. Yes. Headshots for the win. There we go. Now it's you. We have one more shot. Let's make this 360. <laughs> no, that's not good. Stay away, stay away. It's, uh, shovel time. Ah, uh, 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 good. Good stuff. Loading the cornfield. That can never be good. Killed the strangers. It was them or me. Oh yeah. The poor devils looked like they fell in a septic tank and festered for a few days. I'd never killed no one before, so I sure was real spooked. <laughs> I decided to head over to my neighbors across the cornfield. I just didn't feel safe hanging around here all by myself. It's much safer walking through a cornfield during a zombie apocalypse, don't you think? You're a genius. Ah, uh, oh, frame rate is dropping. Uh, okay, and there's back. Yeah, so walking through a cornfield. What more could you possibly want? Let's check. Um, we've got a rifle and a shovel. This is great stuff. Come on, frame rate, stay steady. <laughs> Crawler. Come on, come on. Great. Not. Uh, See, I haven't played this game in a while, so it might still be some scares in here for me. And I am also pretty easily scared, as my friends know. And uh, don't trust that corpses are dead. <clears throat> but this guy seems pretty legit dead. <laughs> okay, no biggie. There's no need to... Hey, frame rate. Frame rate. Stay steady. Stupid frame rate. We can't sprint for that long either before we get tired. So we have to be careful because if we get tired, we're <laughs> incredibly slow. So yeah, uh, that down in the left corner is is our health. Uh, when zombies hit us, uh, he will start turning red, and when it's fully red. Uh, we will die. Yay, die, die, die. So it's auto saves, and we can save manually, which you should probably do. Yep, I'm gonna save our progress. Ooh, revolver ammo. Let's see, are you. You are not dead. I don't really want to waste revolver ammo on you. Just stay back with the shovel. Later on we get a really good melee weapon. The fire axe. Oops. Yes, I remember this place. But you're not supposed to survive that. Good. I can't remember which... there we go. <laughs> ah, I have the sound really high now. <laughs> I just probably should turn it down a bit. You know what? No. There, I turn up the sound even more. So there's not that much detail, but that's because I have put down the graphics a lot, so I can run this at 30 FPS. Let's run for it. Run for it! Run! <laughs> Ooh. Ammo. Auto saving. That's always good. 
Oh yeah, I know what's coming up. Check this out. We have to walk through the cornfield, I'm not kidding. Um, I hate this part and I'm not gonna uh, bother killing all the enemies. I'm just gonna run through it and hope that I'm lucky. Oh shit. There's a lot of nice stuff in there. But I don't really feel like going in there and ris risking being ambushed. Shit. Just follow the fence. Follow the fence, Carl. Yes. Uh, find something to cut the chain, okay? Okay, that was one. Uh. <laughs> These zombies are unpredictable. You think you know them and then suddenly they're all up in your face. Okay. Oh my god, how many are there? It's like four, five, five. Uh. And they're all female. Stay back. I, kn I know I'm cute. I know I'm cute. I have good looks, but... Yeah. Never mind these bitches. I'm just gonna run. No. Why did it have to be so many? I don't have enough. No, get. I can't run anymore because he's tired. Look up that. Uh, pluck up that. That was a mixture of Norwegian and English. Anyways, I haven't lost any health yet, so I'm pretty proud of that. You're dead. I'm gonna turn on the radio to find out what's going on in the outside world. But for now, we're just gonna run from a couple of zombies. It's cut. Open the door! And we're in. Neighbors. I don't like the name of that chapter. Let's playing after eating dinner just uh, it's not cool. Hehehe. <laughs> see, can I hit you? I can. Uh, it's gonna take way too long. So much cooler. Down into the basement of the basement. Good, good, good. Here wondering. Okay. Now, sometimes they can take really many revolver shots. Just gonna take this package over here. Bang. Good. 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 This does not look good. And what do you know? Our neighbors. My neighbors were dead. I didn't know what the heck was going on. I think your neighbors is undead. Some violence are coming in from neighboring states. We're unsure at this moment what to make of the situation. The governor is telling everyone to stay in their homes and has issued a uh, one moment, folks. Something has just come across my desk. I'm getting reports that the... I'm having trouble reading this bulletin, but I've been told this has been confirmed by official sources. It appears that the dead are coming back to life and eating the flesh of the living. <laughs> this is unbelievable news we're hearing. 
Uh, I, for one, am truly shocked. It's called a zombie apocalypse. This is not a joke. Something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. It's killing time.